Final Cut Pro 6 now includes a smooth cam filter that intelligently reduces unwanted camera movement from your shots using technology inherited from Shake. You can apply the smooth cam filter to clips directly in the browser or to clips in the timeline. The smooth cam filter, like all filters in Final Cut Pro, can be found in both the effects menu and the effects tab of the browser. Select the clip in the timeline, then choose Video Filters Video Smooth Cam. Before you can see the result of the filter, the clip must first be analyzed. The overlay in the canvas lets you know the analysis is in progress. What is happening is that every pixel is being examined to determine the direction of the camera movement. Smooth cam rendering will ultimately be applied to the media between your clips in and out points, but in order for the filter to produce accurate results, the entire media file must be analyzed. A window called Background Processes also appears letting you know how far along the analysis is. The cool thing is, applying a smooth cam filter does not interrupt your work. It processes in the background while you continue editing. You can also pause the analysis at any time or halt the analysis entirely. Click the tiny X and you'll be asked if you want to stop the task. A really powerful feature is the ability to submit clips for analysis directly in the browser. Make sure your browser is in list view, then right click on a column header and choose Show Smooth Cam from the list. You can select single clips or groups of clips then by right-clicking in the column next to the clip, choose Run Analysis from the menu. The background process window updates to show you how many clips are currently in the queue for processing. If you close the background process window, you can always reopen it from the Tools menu. Motion analysis can take some time depending on how long the shot is. Once a clip has been analyzed, it does not have to be analyzed again. The analysis data is stored on your hard drive. By default, this data file is stored in the same location as the media file. Right-click on a clip that has already been analyzed, then choose Reveal in Finder. Smoothcam data files appear with a nondescript icon and have a .mtdf extension. If you're working on an XSAN or other shared media network where you don't have write privileges for the folder containing your media, the Smoothcam data files will be written to one of two directories, either Library Caches or Users, Username, Library Caches. If you media manage your projects, keep in mind that because your media will be trimmed before being copied or moved, the original SmoothCam data file will no longer apply and you'll need to reanalyze a clip. As I mentioned earlier, this is because the filter always analyzes the entire media file and media managed files constitute new media as far as the filter is concerned. Once a clip or clips have been analyzed, you can adjust the SmoothCam parameters as you would any other filter. Double click the clip to load it into the viewer and click the Filters tab. You can adjust the steadiness of the shot by dragging one of three independent sliders. The Translation Smooth slider controls the camera's horizontal and vertical movement along the X and Y axis. The Rotation Smooth slider controls the camera movement around the center point of the image, and the Scale Smooth slider controls the forward or backward camera or lens movement along the Z axis. Each parameter can be set to a value between 0 and 5. A value of 0 disables the parameter, and a value of 5 applies the strongest possible transformation. The higher you set each parameter, the more camera motion is compensated for in that direction. To hide the black edges that result from all this motion compensation, the filter applies some slight scaling to the clip. By default, an auto-scaling value of 1 is applied. Drag the slider all the way to the left to turn it off, then scrub through the clip and notice the clip's edges in the canvas. You can see the filter is doing some pretty serious calisthenics in order to stabilize his shot. Let's play back the clip at normal speed with and without the filter applied. Disable the filter, then press X to set an in and out point for the clip. Press Shift Backslash to play between the in and out points. It's obvious this clip can use some help. Now I'll enable the filter, reset the filter properties, and play the clip again. A huge improvement. By dragging the mix slider, you can control how much of the original clip is blended with the results of the motion compensated clip. A value of 100 produces no blending, and a value of 0 produces no motion compensation. For some really interesting visuals, set the slider to 50. This would be the POV shot of pirates returning from a long night in Tortuga. If you plan on sending your SmoothCam Analyze clips to Motion, keep in mind that Motion will recognize the SmoothCam data files created in Final Cut Pro, so you won't need to analyze the clip again in Motion. In some ways, the next lesson is the most significant because you will learn how Final Cut Pro plays with and integrates with Motion, Soundtrack Pro, and Color.